Previously on One Life to Live. You knew that Al could walk for months. I almost married Al because of you. I wasn't the one who came up with the plan to lie to the dean. That was all your dear daddy's doing. You do want to catch your husband cheating. Why? You'll be the donor? I wouldn't go through that operation again in a million years. Bo? In there at your park. You hear that? That's my cowpoke riding to my rescue. I'll win your dreams. Roll up your sleeve. Duck's gonna do a little test now, right, Duck? If you want a donor, be one yourself. I can't. Well, what's going on here? I'm being saved, that's what. That tall drink of water on the outside of that door is not going to let you suck the precious marrow from my lovely bones. Think again, Alex. You think again. You are no match for Ace of Buchanan. Not in a million years. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You, you're not a willing donor for Mr. Manning's son? In a word, no. And when I tell Asa what Todd's trying to do, well, that'll be the end of this old sorry episode. Oh, I hear voices. What the hell's going on in there? Come on, open the door. Come on, Let her go. You can't force someone to be a donor. No, she's a willing donor. No, she just said she wasn't. Why do you think she's fighting to get away? She's scared of needles. I, I, I'm sorry, I cannot be a party no, to this. Get that little test of yours ready, okay? And you think about that great big grant that I'm going to give you. You're going to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Asa! Oh, open this damn door. Sir, Mr. Buchanan's the most stubborn man in existence. I say just let him in. Not going to happen. Asa! I must stand firmly against you on this, You know sir. those photos that I have of you? They will be on the front page of the sun tomorrow morning if you don't make this happen. I said, sir, I'd never stand against you. I'm with you 1,000%. But well, well, what can we possibly do? He's right, Todd. Ace is impossible. Come on. What in a blue blaze going on in there? Open the damn door. Quiet. Everybody outside. Except you. You get rid of him. What else is new? Everybody hates you. Get rid of him. If something, you blow this between me and my son, you are going to wish that you were never born. Now get rid of him. Right. Okay, this is fine. This is going to be fine, right? This is never going to figure out that we're all out. We're not all. We're not all. Where's the doctor? Hey, sir, how nice to see you. What are you doing in here? Where's Bo? Uh, he's in Los Angeles. Who the hell is this? So, you're turning Bo's place into a little love nest. What? How dare you insinuate that? Of course I'm not turning this into any sort of love nest. Then who is this clown? <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Buchanan. I'm a well-respected physician in the community. I am on staff at Landview Hospital. Well, Doc, you're going to end up a certified victim you keep hanging out with this one. You will have to excuse Mr. Buchanan. You see, this happens to be his son's apartment, so he's a little... Police terrible. Commissioner Bo Buchanan. He's not going to be a very happy man when he finds out you two have been getting it on under his roof. Hey, Flower. Oh, for your information, no one is getting it on with anyone. I am here in a professional capacity. I was called this here because... This man is a doctor, that's right. And he was called here to consult with me about my son's condition. Al? Yes. What condition? He lied. He made it up. Hey, so yes, yes, but in the beginning he had temporary paralysis. And this doctor was going to give me a consultation. I'd like to get my money's worth, if you don't mind. See, doctor, he was temporarily paralyzed. But then, well, if he had been permanently paralyzed, what would his chances have been? Oh, 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 oh. Who's that? Who the hell else you got out there? The Sixth Fleet? Don't be absurd, Asia. I, I, I just can't have you risking your neck on that terrace, very flimsy terrace, and Bo would never forgive me if something happened to you. Get out of my way. Hell, Oh, Nigel, Hi. where in the blue oh, blue? oh, how are you, Nigel? Sir? Good afternoon. Nigel, have you been seduced by this harpy, too? Certainly not. not. Well, I want to tell you something. I've been looking for you all morning. I almost sent out a search party for you. Oh, well, that's very flattering, sir. I really do appreciate your concern. I can't 
tell you how much, but I... We'll just have to uh, be honest, Nigel. Uh, Asa, the reason that Nigel is here with me is because I was trying to woo him away from your service. That does not explain what you were doing out there in the balcony. No, that's true, sir. Point well taken. Well, I think it's quite obvious, Nigel. Asa, can't you see that Nigel is terrified of you? Since when? <laughs> Asa, I... I, I... It's true, isn't it, Nigel? You, you were worried that if he found out that you were here with me, exploring other employment opportunities, that you might throw him out in one of your fits. Okay. I accept that. Come on, Nigel. Let's go back to the mansion. Whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What is that I smell? Now I know what this is all about. Oh, yeah. It's coming through, loud and clear. Do you know what aroma you think you can detect? No, I don't smell anything. Neither do I. I know the smell of that perfume anywhere. Alex used to spritz her whole body with it. Miss Eleanor? Oh, she's in the islands, isn't she? In the Caribbean? Yes, at the Caribbean. 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 Don't try and never... play me, Gabrielle. You are wearing Alex's perfume. <laughs> you were the one outside the mansion this morning. You were the one spraying the front door like some alley cat. I assure you, I was nowhere near your property this morning. What did, what did you think? That the perfume was going to give you some power over me? Sir, no, I know how your mind works. You probably think Miss Medina was playing a game with you, trying to distract you, as it were, while she tried to hire me away. But if perchance she did use a tiny bit of Miss Eleanor's perfume today, I assure you, no, it won't work. You've got that right. And let me tell you something, Gabrielle. You are no Alex Olenoff. That woman would make the devil sick to his stomach. Well, there's something we do agree on, sir. And that woman is so low, she makes a rattlesnake look like a giraffe. And if I saw her in the desert, dying of thirst, I kick a mess of scorpions on her body, and I keep right on walking. Mr. Buchanan has very strong opinions when it comes to his ex-wives. A nice try, honey. But you're gonna have to be quicker on the trigger to get old Lisa. Come on, Nigel. We're out of here. Of course, sir. That's a wonderful idea. I especially enjoyed your uh, descriptions of Miss Olenoff. Okay, uh, people, a little, a little help here. <laughs> Could someone explain what that was all about? I'll explain. Pure, unadulterated hate. Yes, Alex, I have to agree with you on this score. I think that man lives off of hatred. That pain was worse than anything I've ever felt in my life. Really? So then you wouldn't mind if the doc took a little bone marrow then, huh? You know what I want most in this world? Money? No, a brain. Respect and admiration. I I'd love a chance to show the whole world that Ace is wrong about me. Well, look, you do this, this donor thing and you would be showing the whole world. Well? You'd be saving my son's life. Give of myself, and I will save your precious son for a million dollars. Fine. Hmm. Just so long as Jack gets his transplant. Uh, excuse me. Uh, we still don't know for sure if she she'll be a match. Oh, she'll be a match. She was a match for Star. She'll be a match for Jack. I'm afraid it doesn't always work that way. Just uh, keep applying pressure for a couple of minutes. Uh, how long before the results get back? Not long, not long. Here. And tell the lab to call me the minute the results get back. Yep, will do. Run, 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 run like the wind. Oh, you. We gotta talk. We'll be back in a second. Oh, what? 
listening, because I don't want to have to say this twice. Yeah, I know. I have to keep Alex... No, and... shut up and listen. There is... Alex can't know that Jack was adopted, ever. You got that? Supposed adoption. Yeah, whatever. The thing is, if, if that wingnut in there is shooting her mouth off to Blair, and Blair finds out that Jack is aplastic anemia, the next thing that Blair's going to figure out is that Jack is her real son. Blair? Hi, it's Alex Olenoff. I just wanted you to be the first to know that I'm going to give your son my bone marrow. I'm going to save his life the way that I saved your daughter's star. Isn't that wonderful? On the next, One Life to Live. Well, it looks like my day just got a whole lot brighter. There's no way that you're going to move in there. I didn't go through with the wedding. I called it off. You just have gone out of your way to be horrible to me. <gasps> me? Who are you talking to? Blair. 